All right. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now, I will say that just looking at that pizza, it looks like he did it right. Now, I usually add on a few more pepperoni. However, that is a decent amount. Usually, it's four bites to each square, and there's four pepperonis. This is good optimization. Here we go. He made my $2 pizza. The saga continues. Sure so I was at the grocery store the other day and I'm walking through the frozen food section and it literally jumped out at me. <laughs> like, it was like, boom. Now this is the wrong kind. It is, I, found I was about to say, yeah, it's the wrong one. The picture. Did you know that there's more than one kind of party? I sure didn't. Yeah. <laughs> this triple meat, that's not the one that he went with. He went with the party pizza pepperoni. pepperoni. Yes, that's so, right. So I had to go back to Walmart and get it. $1.97 a piece, so. Dollar ninety seven. Where the fuck is he at? I thought they're like two bucks now. Right on. Two dollars now. I got the oregano. Okay, good. I got the Hormel pepperoni. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's just it. That's the standard right here. And I got the craft mozzarella. Right. So here we go. So Let's he's got pretty much the exact stuff. Like he doesn't have the McCormick or oregano, but like it doesn't really fucking matter. It's a, a leaf is a leaf. Is pizza now just like the steak video? I'm gonna make it exactly like he did, right? And then I'm going to make my own low cost pizza, which is a homemade pizza. Now, I know what you're Ooh, saying, there's that's... no way he would ever do this and make yeah, his own dough, that's true. but I promise you, especially if you're a gamer, you're really going to enjoy my method of making pizza dough, and you don't have to wait for it to rise in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. Okay, you can just throw it right in your pan in your oven and cook it immediately as soon as but it's you could just buy buy the pizza for two dollars though like so like i really just don't see why we're having this conversation like so if there's a pizza for two dollars and you just buy the pizza for two dollars like i mean fuck ready so make sure you tune in for the Here rest of the video after i make his pizza. all right let's get going but there it is i went over to my grandma's house and i asked her can i borrow the roaster that you make the ribs in the old school roaster that's exactly right this is exactly what we're looking for this right here is the uh i think my mom used to call it a convection oven or something like that and uh this is what we used because our big oven was broken because my dad and i thought it would be a good idea to repair and uh, replace the element in the oven while the oven was on we broke it and so uh the oven was broken for years until we replaced it we got a new one eventually i can't use it so i just use the old one this is the one that i know how to make pizzas on so i put it in the wheelbarrow i didn't have it in the wheelbarrow but i did yeah and you can see that we actually use our wheelbarrow for gardening and such you just, yeah it's no, a pretty I, dirty that, wheelbarrow right. there's no clothes in there but there's dirt so yeah it's about close right enough looks good All to right, me there we go the oven is on the oven this We're looks authentic both pepperoni party pizza mm -hmm and the triple meat the i like how bowl. um I, I like how by the way he put yeah this is really good the oven is on the oven he put it directly on top of his oven you know i'm pretty sure we used to have that oven i think that's but the one i dirt, broke so actually close enough yeah we used to have that one that's the one i broke right there there it is i broke that oven All right, there we go. The oven is on the mm -hmm. oven. We're going to make both That's actually crazy. pepperoni party pizza and the triple meat because I'm actually curious what the meat to cheese to bread ratio is on both. But we're going to start with his. It's because the, the sausages taste the like same. shit. Okay, looks All good. Right, now, That's delicious. Judging by the picture, I'm disappointed. No, you don't have to be. See, this is exactly, and, and uh, I know what he's saying. He's saying because, like, they act like there's a lot of pepperoni on there, and there's actually not. Uh, that's true. Um, that's why you get triple pepperoni. <laughs> and I can see no, this, why this, he this, would add his own pepperoni yes, and cheese because be that. They cheap out on it. It's a joke. Let's do that again. Where are they? I see not that many, but that's well, why I wanted to go to to the fucking grocery store and buy 10 
of the normal ones and then buy 10 of the triple pepperoni ones and then pull the pepperonis off of each one and see if it's actually triple pepperoni because I don't think it is. I think it's like 1.5x. There's no way it's a 3x. Oh, we had a $5 bag of pepperoni. Yes, $5.59 for this whole bag. Now you don't use the whole thing, so it's just not going to add to the price that much. But on first... How much you need, 10? Oregano. Average. Nah, it's looking pretty good. All okay. Right. Oregano good. on. No, he, no, and cheese, he, yeah. He hates cheese people, so let's make sure that we don't... Well, we don't want to have... It's not that I hate cheese people, but, like, I have never... This might upset some people. I've never seen a person who eats cheese just by itself who wasn't a fat ass. Ultimate cheeseburger. Yeah, I think this is for um that's just that's just how it is. Like, I'm sorry, but like it's just what it is. Too much cheese. I am a cheese I am a cheese person, and I bet if we met that we'd probably get along. That's just my guess. Sure. There we go. That looks like a good amount of cheese for a non-cheese person. You can like person. cheese and not have gone eat it by probably. itself. Because if I were a piece of cheese, I would eat myself. Hopefully there's no gray pepperonis in here. Let's bomb this city. Uh, they actually turned green. Uh, yeah, they turned green and then like the side of the... Um, uh, of like the the package turns gray. It's kind of like a weird thing. I've had I've had this happen like many times. We bombed this city. I really love pepperoni. I was just on yeah. vacation. We had this conversation about pepperoni pizzas. Nobody mm -hmm. wants just a pepperoni pizza. I do. At least this was the, was the discussion at the beach. So nobody wants just a pepperoni pizza, but everybody orders just a pepperoni pizza because everyone thinks that everyone will eat just a pepperoni pizza. They will. I'm not sure where the conversation ended, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it right there. How many times y'all ever had a pizza party at work or like a fucking school or something like that and they order a cheese pizza and there's like pepperoni pizza and like a sausage pizza and nobody eats like there's always leftover cheese pizza. There's always leftover sausage pizza. There's never leftover pepperoni pizza. Every fucking time. All right, now that is yep. a masterpiece. If I just say so myself. Nah, it looks really Let's turn good. This That's oven amazing. Oven on the oven to 400. Yeah, I don't even know where to turn okay. it up to. Oh, I gotta plug it in. I had to move the oven onto the countertop because the cave, the cord is on this side and the plug is over there and I couldn't, the plug's not long enough. So it is there we goes. go, plugged in. Should we discuss the cobwebs? I'm not gonna put cobwebs on mine because this daddy ain't gonna eat any cobwebs. <laughs> no, the thing is like, look, I didn't even have, co I didn't really eat the cobwebs. They were just on, guys, uh, look, they were just on, the the great like that's it's not like i was eating them i didn't it's not like I, I put them on like it was flavor it wasn't seasoning it just happened to be there no matter how good they taste now this may affect the final product seeing as how Why i'm putting tinfoil on the bottom because this is my grandma's and if you got a grandma and she's a big cooker like an italian one like mine and i were to get burnt pizza crust on the bottom of this you know what, be, what my fate would be. You'd never see me again. So, I'm... Why, just, what would be the problem with the pizza? Because, if, I mean, you're not eating it off. You're not eating it. Like, what's the problem? I, I don't know. I mean, I, ne I never put that shit underneath it. Dirt on the stove? Don't eat it. Don't eat the dirt. What are you doing eating dirt? I'm putting foil on the bottom, but he cooks it for an hour, so it's going to be fine. All right? Yeah. We've got one pizza in. All right. <laughs> There's even less meat on the <laughs> See, see, they fuck you, don't they? They fuck you. See, this is it used to never be like this. By the way, uh, let me show you something. See, back in the fucking day, I'll show you this. Back in the fucking day, it used to be a a, a bigger pizza. Look. Look, see, it used to be circular. It was way bigger way way fucking bigger and then just eventually they just shrunk it down and they took the the wendy's route and they made it a square they were way bigger man 
Look how much bigger this pizza was. Look how much more pepperoni this was. You see that? See how many? See how many pepperonis that was? Look at this. This is what it used to be. It's cheaper though. No, it's not. These used to be literally. Who remembers? Eighty nine cents. Eighty nine motherfucking cents, and that was less than ten years ago. Look at this. Look how big this was. Absolutely massive. And then now you have this. So look at this. See, it doesn't even fucking fit. And then back in the day, you had this. It would fit on the entire plate. See, they think they're, they're fucking pulling some geometry shit. I can tell immediately what's happening. I could see immediately that we were getting fucked. All right, we're going to catch an animal and turn it into a pizza and eat it. Okay, sure. So the rat got in there and it died. And so I was like, man, this smells really bad. We've got to deal with this problem with the dead rat in that room. So I closed the door. I used to use a dead rat as an alarm clock. Whenever the sun would come up, it would start cooking the corpse of the rat. And then the smell would wake me up. And I stabbed. I stabbed the rat. So anyway, I go back. This is like five or six years later. I'm going to clean up this room. No, it sounds like a great idea. We'll see what, what animals Maya has, and, uh, you know, maybe we'll try to get one of those. Inflation's a bitch? Yeah, it is. It's ridiculous. This one. <laughs> now, this one also has sausage, Canadian-style bacon. Ooh, we talked about that. Ground pork and pepperoni, seasoned pork, chicken, and beef pizza. We're going to add our oregano. Chicken and beef. Craft mozzarella. That's good. I have a tendency to go overdo it, so I gotta stop myself that's right fine, there. That's pe fine. That's pe fine. Pe that's fine. Pepperoni in the oven. Mm -hmm. That looks very good. And look at that. Oh shit. Ooh, that's hot. Wow. We've got two yeah. pizzas in our oven top oven. Yeah. Let's little fun fact is like if you uh, if, if if you're on the struggle bus, if you get one of these ovens, it'll save you a lot in electricity. I'm pretty sure, and it also is like really cheap. Like, you get one of these things for, like, 40 bucks now. Rather than, like, spending, like, 400 bucks or, like, 200. Like, I mean, probably, like, how much is an oven now? Like, I, I, don't, I don't even know. How much is a... I think it's, like, 400 bucks, right? Like, I, no, I know, I know it's 2K at, at Home Depot, but I'm talking about, like, some fucking... It, it's 400. Like, it, it, four, oh, so, yeah, yeah, it's, like, four or 500 then. Like, and that's a piece of shit, but it's, you, it works. Close the lid for an hour. What you're gonna need for this no rise pizza dough okay, is two this? and a quarter cups of all purpose flour. You can use bread flour also. Two and a quarter teaspoons Didn't they of find that in the White House? yeast, uh, which usually equates to about one package of this kind of stuff, okay? You just want like one package, just mm -hmm. toss it in there, but measure it if you want to. You want so you a put teaspoon sand in there. of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Two tablespoons of extra but virgin mustard. olive oil and three quarter cup of warm water, about 110 degrees. If you don't have a goose warm egg kettle. Warm water, why the hell would you want warm water? Or anything fancy like that, don't worry. Just run your warm water under your finger. You don't want it to burn your finger, okay? That's way too hot. You just want it to basically feel like you don't feel any heat at all or any okay. cold at all. Okay, yeah. now we're gonna take all those dry ingredients, take a whisk or a fork or a spoon, I don't care what it is, or use your mixer if you want, and just mix it all up. And while you're mixing it, start to think about all the games developers that have done you wrong in the past just just start building so they up. really he really wants you to put a lot of work into it a lot of energy basically like beat this shit out of this uh out of this yeast that modern warfare style anger just yeah. mix away and let your anger build okay because we're going to use that anger pretty quickly here after you've got your dry ingredients mixed up fairly well you just want to basically create like a little well in the middle okay and now you're going to take your olive oil put it right in the center mm -hmm. and then you're going to take three quarters of a cup of your warm water and mix that in there right. i'd recommend like a spatula like this one and just mix it and we just want to make like a like a shaggy dough once all this stuff is incorporated then we're going to let all of our anger out you may have to dig in there with your hands no big deal your hands are clean we know this oh it's nice and warm oh, see, yeah that's true. satisfying see you'll find when you start doing this that this is actually more satisfying than you think if you need to add more 
wet. Like I actually think we may need to add a little bit more warm water. A little touch of all. Yeah, there's again. not enough Just liquid. A dab of water. Okay, a little bit goes a long way at this point. So I, I guess oh, like yeah, the. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I guess like the benchmark is like making sure that all the flour is stuck to the uh, the main thing. Anger is building. I'm really starting to get angry at Bungie at this point. That's oh yeah, because they ruined yeah a little bit of flour. Plop it on that flour. Right. To get mad. Let out that fucking anger. artifact weapons. You just want to fold. Random drop in, Legion legendaries. Fold. Activision. Mm. Bungie, give me every ounce of silver. Fucking Smilegate Lost Ark ruined it. Willingly gave to you. AGS wouldn't listen to me during New World. Was able to participate. They fucked in your up the game. Show. Yep. 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 Oh, oh yeah. It's starting to feel good. You got to give this a try. Ooh, Dark Souls 2. Anger. It's starting to really soften up. Now we don't want to make our dough too hard. And I think that is good. Okay. One more smack for Bungie for good measure. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Uber right, unique. There's our dough. Okay. Now this is a cast iron pan. We're going to take. Uh, why do people have cast iron? What's the difference? What, what's the, why do people have cast iron? It's heavy. See, like. Y'all want to know, like, maybe, like, a weird thing for me? Is, like, any pan that ha that's, like, non-stick, I don't want to cook off of it. Because I feel like it's chemicals. It's, like, I, I don't think it's normal. It's not natural. I mean, I'm maybe I'm crazy. Like, yeah, I, I, well, I mean, look, I'm not, I'm not. Other way around? Cast iron is the most natural? Maybe I should get one of these then. Yeah, actually, I should. That's a good idea. Straight fucking iron. So that way you're making it the way that like dwarves used to make it back in the Middle Ages. About a tablespoon of olive oil and we're gonna put it in our cast iron pan, maybe two, because what we want to make here is kind of like a Detroit style pizza where this is a pan style Aren't pizza. the Detroit style pizzas the really thick ones that burn your mouth whenever you bite into them? Yeah, yeah, I had those. Mm -hmm. But the olive oil will creep up the sides and underneath the dough and make like a fried dough underneath. Okay, and now we're gonna take our dough and plop it right in the middle there. Okay, just spread that oil around. We're just going to use our knuckles and just form our pizza into here. Let that crust creep up the side. Now, like I said, this isn't a fancy pizza. We're not using a rolling pin. We're not throwing our dough up in the air and spinning around all fancy like. We're just smashing dough into a cast iron pan. Yeah, so we're gonna make kind of like a deep dish. Okay. Sit here. Okay. Now, just take a towel and cover it up, and just let it sit there for ten minutes. Now, in the meantime, let's check on the Asmund Gold pizza. Uh, it's been twenty-five minutes. Is that so the yeast can have like the uh, chemical reaction? I'm assuming it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's That's getting there, but it's not ready. Steam. Okay, now I'm gonna cook my pizza on my grill. So I'm using a pellet grill that I can just set to 450 degrees. But if you're gonna use your oven, just set it to 450 degrees. Let it preheat for these 10 minutes while our dough rests. I'm using a grill because it's my pizza and I love grilled pizza. Now this I dough, you should pizza. also know, is not a high heat style dough. If you're gonna use a pizza, a fancy pizza oven, like a, or like my wildfire grill or like a, like an uni or a gosni or one of those things that cooks at like seven, 800, maybe even a thousand degrees like the wildfire does, this is not the dough for that kind of pizza. That This kind of dough will just burn right up because of the amount of olive oil that's in it. Okay, let's spend 10 minutes. There's our dough. Time okay. to add our toppings. Now, this is a local brand to where I live, Stanganelli's. You can probably buy it online. I like their Sicilian sauce for my pizzas. Okay. I'd probably say three spoonfuls. Eh, we'll add more. I feel like that uh, sauce is a little bit watery. I, I guess that might be different. Usually whenever I see sauce like that, it's much thicker. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, it's natural, yeah, I don't know. Olive oil in there too, so we don't want to make too much of a soggy bottom here. Now I'm gonna use okay. the same mozzarella in the middle. And uh, if you have watched many of my videos, you know that I'm a dub of cheese kind of guy. Like okay. I would 
Anytime I order a pizza, I order it with double cheese. No different here. Now we're gonna take jack cheese. Now jack is much lower moisture and we're going to stuff it on top of this crust here. Let's just load that what around, the fuck? piled on top of that crust. Now as it cooks, that burn? it's going to melt. The olive oil is going to sneak up the side of the pan and fry that cheese into the crust. And we're going to get a slightly charred up fried cheese. That's smart. Crusty crust. Just a dab okay. of Italian seasoning. Now I like it above the cheese because I like the visual of those particles of yum on yeah. the pizza. Just like him, too. we want total coverage of yeah. pepperoni. And then one to cover that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We're just gonna yeah. take our olive oil and we're just gonna drizzle it right over the edge just to add a little bit more pizzazz. There we go, here we go. Oh God. Okay. I that mean, That's ready. You tell, you can tell that it's ready because it's burnt. Honestly, yeah. after an hour, I expected it to be totally and utterly charred up. That is not. No, so... no, it, it's not. Cause you have to, the way you do it is you cook it at a lower temperature because like this is the reason why I have it to where I cook it for a long period of time is that um, like I will go upstairs and I will forget about the pizza. Like there's never been a time that I've made a pizza and I've remembered that I was making a pizza. So I cook it on a lower uh, temperature. So there's a larger window of fuck up radius where like I can fuck up and it's like, ah, you know, oh, you messed up the pizza. It's not a big deal, right? Because you've got like a 10 minute window rather than like a five minute window. I've cooked black pizzas before. I remember uh, like the first time Izzy came to visit and she was staying here. We actually, I, I thought, you know what, you know, uh, we got, a, you know, it's a girl, girl living at the house. We're going to get her a nice pizza. And so I got a new pizza and I cooked it in the oven. Bro, I burnt the fuck out of that shit. I think you can only eat like one piece. She was pissed. Yep, black pizza. There it is. But maybe there's a trick with this oven being that it's more for like a slow cooker oven, even though it's at 400 degrees. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a good well, one. Let's pull it out. Look at that. It Delicious. Up. It's amazing. Oh my God. That's go. so good. This look is the pepperoni. This Holy is the shit, triple bro. meat. Like, look at that. Oh my God. It's so good. Wow. That let is these a cool pizza for just moment. a minute, and then we'll use this pizza. without slicing yeah. any internal organs on our mm -hmm. torso. While his pizza's cooling, let's put ours on the grill. So you wait, what? Wait, hold up, what? We're gonna close that wait, damper. Wait, what the fuck? There we are. Are you Beautiful. kidding me? Go to sleep for 15 minutes. Ooh, there it is. That is fucking delicious. Look at that. That's amazing. The Yasmin Gold $2 pizza. A little trick when you're cutting your pizza, start from the center so you don't destroy that beautiful caramelized crust. I don't eat the crust. Oh yeah, that is nice and nice and crunchy. There we go. Four equal pieces of pepperoni. Okay, bottoms up. Here we go. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> I know. See, that's the funniest thing is that the only person who said the pizza was bad I want y'all to keep this in mind. The only person, people that said it was bad was Peach Jars and Jessica Negri after Ms. Kiff intentionally made my pizza bad to make himself look good on his video to show off. Because he, f like, bro, he put more butter on that pizza than you're supposed to eat in an entire year. Or no, that, that, that was a steak. That's right. Yeah, it was a steak, not pizza. What was I thinking? Yeah, steak. That shit made me so mad. <laughs> it's not bad at all. <laughs> it's a little on the chewy side. It but is. But whether it's genius or an accident, cooking in that other oven in the roaster may be the best way to do a pizza like this. I don't That's know. because it cooks it. Like, I, I feel like this is what happens, right? Is like if you cook it at a higher temperature, in like a normal oven, what ends up happening is that the outsides get overcooked and the insides get undercooked. And that's why, um, you know, I, I think cooking it in the smaller oven is just simply better because you can cook it at a lower temperature and then make sure that the entire coverage of the pizza is equal. 
Oh, you tell me in the comments. You might be onto something here. And I'm going to have to explore more yeah, it's into really good. the science of the roaster with pizzas. Maybe with some other foods, it's too. delicious. Not bad at all. Let's try this other pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, not bad. Even this, like, warty-looking burnt you part. Don't Let's eat give that, that a taste. I would not even eat that. I'd break that off. That's... I'm a believer, people. You know when you get homemade lasagna and you get the burnt part of the noodle on the corners? If you know, you know. Kind of reminded me of that. It's $4. I mean, that's 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 pretty much the, what he has into this pizza. Yeah. I wonder what the longest period of time that he ever cooked one in when he forgot it is. <laughs> um, so about two hours. And what happened is that we had, yeah, two hours. So what happened is that this was not, the black one that I have is not the first one. My mom had one from like the 80s that we were using until we replaced it. And the oven was so bad that like at the time that it was like kind of you know, like 80, yeah, it was like a 30 year old, like, uh, you know, portable oven like that. And we got rid of it and we had to get the new one because it, it stopped working. But I was able to turn it up all the way and it could just barely cook the pizza, but it took two hours. <laughs> let's see how this baby's doing. All right, it's let's been see it. about 15 to 16 minutes, somewhere around there. Oh, yep. Look at that. I'm going to be real. I would have put way more pepperoni on that shit because, like, I, I would want to have more pepperoni on the edge. See, our crust has really risen up. Now, if I would have used a larger pan, I probably would have gotten a little bit more even distribution of my I feel like crust. also, like, I bet if you put bacon bits on that, it would be really good. You know, like the uh, the ones that you get in the refrigerator and shit. I bet you could probably put that on there. And if you do it on the grill, that would be good as fuck. But let's check and see how. All right, we've got a little, we've got a ways to go on our crust. So let's give it another 10 minutes. Yeah, it hasn't, like, fully... Uh, Without being gorgeous. I, I think that the way that you tell if it's like ready is if it separates from the edge, right? Uh, separates from the edge of the of the, the pan. Just see the, the fried cheese along the side. Okay. Take There's two spatulas, one yeah. on each side. Okay, yep, there it is. And carefully lift it right out of the pan. Uh, I would have liked it a little crispier, but that's okay. Now, another thing I'd like to do is just take a little bit of garlic powder. Yeah, you... like if it was me making this pizza, what I would have done is that after I put the tomato sauce on, I would have put a layer of pepperonis on the tomato sauce, and then I would have put the cheese on, and then I would have put another layer of pepperonis on the uh, on top of the cheese. Like, I, I think that's the, yeah, yeah, that that's like whenever I've ever had double, uh, like, uh, like uh, deep dick pizza or deep dish pizza, uh, that's usually how they do it. You can use garlic salt if you like. A light, and by light, I mean really light dusting of garlic powder up top. Okay. We're gonna let it rest just like we would a steak. Put the microphone right up to this. Hear that? That's good, that's good, Start yeah. in the middle so you don't ruin your crust. Oh my God, the smell of this is so good. Let me see it. Okay, there we are roughly around six dollars and fifty cents to seven dollars in total ingredients Which that's pretty good do i want my god all right look at that oh my goodness oh my goodness hey remember how i was talking about those particles of yum that i like to see that mm, mm. <laughs> okay let's try the fried cheese crust side it's just another level of pizza not that his was bad, because obviously it wasn't. I was quite impressed with it. That's easy. That's an easy, cheap, homemade pizza. I did end up cooking the pizza 10 minutes longer than I anticipated. Depending on your pan, depending on your oven, you know, depending on the dough that you make, you know, like you might add some different ingredients. I have a not. grill. I could do that. Your, your, I could do that your pizza. time and temperature from there, but uh, I wouldn't go above 450. 450 was perfect, it seems. And the amount of time that he cooks his pizza for an hour in his roaster, I have a charcoal grill. Under an hour, make mine and cook mine in under an hour. So, food so I, I'd have I to like give it a Try. Manage you want me in a to come way. to Austin and cook for the whole OTK crew? I, wouldn't that be fun? I'm rambling. What did I think? It's great. That what would be crazy. I have to say about this? I don't know. I'm sweating. I, I think you know what that. I should do. It's hot. Probably hotter. I should try to make it. this. Let pizza me know what myself. you think. Hit me up in the comments. As always, yeah. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.
Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's that way you get the full, the full experience. See this right here. This is how you should eat my pizzas. Just like that. What's he watching? It's like some 90s anime. It's hentai. I actually do have, yes, the, an the answer is yes. Um, I do have a... Dude, this music is so extra, like... It's just like... Bro, this is like the music that you play after you rescue people off of, like, their fucking lifeboat to the Titanic. And, and you're fucking, you know, br bringing them back on the shore. You, you know, like, getting them dried off. And, and like, yeah, they play it at the very end. So, I I'll say this. There's a big part of me that wants to actually go and try to make that pizza. I want to try to make that pizza exactly the way that he did it and see what it's like. Because I could do that. Like, I, I, have the, I have the fucking pot or the pan for it. Excuse me. I have one of those cast iron pans. I have the grill. Now, I can't maintain it at 450 degrees, so that would be problematic. And I could get, obviously, like all the other ingredients. That would be no big deal. And, uh, you know, I think that'd be a good idea. Too much work, bro? Not really. It's like an hour. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal. Add the bacon bits. No, I would do it exactly the way that he did it. And then maybe if that was good, I would try to do it my own way. Because, like, if it was me, this is what I would do differently, right? Is that I would do uh, another layer of pepperoni on the very outside. And then I would also do a... Uh... Because, like, obviously, and here's the reason, right? Is that... Okay, so basically you have the same amount of pepperonis, but like you're going to be taking, you're going to be eating it in, in more bites because the pizza is thicker and there's a lot more to it. So you want to have pepperoni in every bite. And so I would add in more pepperoni for that reason. I'd also put pepperoni between the, uh, uh, the tomato sauce and the cheese. And then I would have a second layer above the, the cheese. And then I would put the bacon bits on top of the pepperoni. That's what I would do. The only problem is that, like, maybe I wouldn't be able to do that, though. Because if I put the bacon bits on top of the pepperoni, they might be too exposed to the heat. And because of that, they would just get cooked so much that they would lose all of their flavor and they'd be too hard. So maybe I'd have to put them uh, underneath the pepperoni. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. But, yeah, they would burn. Yeah, I, I think I'd have to do that. No, this video is fucking amazing. Like, I, I, I'm so glad. I, I, like, after watching the fucking Mizkiff video, I'm so glad that he actually did it right. There was a trick. Like, he actually did the, the right pizza. Because it's, it's so easy, right? It's so fucking easy. But nobody can figure it out. Yeah, there it is. Those were so good. I'll, I'll, give, you the, I'll give you guys a video. This guy also did a review of my steak. Make sure to give it a like. This video is amazing. Yeah, there you go. He did your steak right, too? Yeah, exactly. Do a collab with him, do a cooking show? Uh, I'd be down maybe for something like that, but I think the first thing I should do is try to cook one of these things myself. Because he also made a different type of steak than I did. And I would be willing to do that, too. Take him up on a chef offer? Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, dude. Hey. Um, I, to grab the WoW cookbook and do cooking streams with it? Me and Train and S-Fan did that uh, back in the day. Uh, pizza Hut would have one like that. It was like a thousand dollars. You want to make one of twenty, right? But it's pretty good. Yeah. Try and make your own burrito. Oh, I know how to make burritos. That's no big deal. My mom would make me burritos back in the day. These are the foods that I can make. Okay. Um. Steak. Pizza. Corned beef hash. Hot dogs. Um, is there anything besides that? Uh, tacos. Potato. Eggs. No, I can't make eggs. No reason to make eggs. You don't need those. Spaghetti? Nope. Cereal? Nope. Mac and cheese? Nope. 
uh, sandwich. Yeah, I can make uh, pastrami sandwich. Lasagna. Nope. No chicken. Why would I make chicken? We have KFC. Why would I do that? Like, how can you improve on perfection? Like, K well, you have KFC. Like, why would you do that? Salmon? No. I can't make salmon. Bacon? I could probably make bacon. Although, I would probably struggle a little bit with it. But I, I know how to make bacon. I can actually make beef jerky, too. Yeah. Make tacos next. Nope, next one I'm gonna make is the corned beef hash, and then it's gonna be pizza. Uh, sorry, then it's gonna be tacos, and then I might do beef jerky after that. Quesadilla? Oh, bro, I had a quesadilla today. Yeah, I uh, ate, ate a quesadilla today. Actually, no, that's the quesadilla from two days ago. Uh, quesadilla from today is down there. It's on the floor. Nothing healthy? Um, I think beef jerky is very healthy. Uh, I think steak is very healthy. Pizza is healthy. Um, tacos are healthy. Yeah, all of these things are very healthy. What do you mean? What's so funny? Like, look. Is beef jerky healthy? Beef jerky is an easy on-the-go snack that packs high protein, zinc, and concentration. These nutrients are essential for overall health. There it is. Sodium? Just don't eat it. Don't eat as much so is a lot of sodium? Is beef jerky good for you? Those lean cuts, yeah, always. Being a good source of lean protein, beef jerky is rich in iron, folate, calcium, vitamins. Look at all this stuff, it's fucking amazing. People are dumb as fuck. Of course it's good for you. Beef jerky is delicious. I be I would be willing to make a, like teriyaki beef jerky, something like that. Yeah, I, I could do that. It's so fucking hot here in Texas, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't even have to cook it. Straight up, I don't even think I would need to. I'm pretty sure I could just leave it in my fucking grill and it would cook itself. Like, let me see how much temp how, how many temperature it is. Here, let me read you the seven day forecast. 105. 105. 103. 103, 103, 103, and then the last one, 104. These are freedom units, not socialist Celsius. It's about 40 Celsius, 40's weak. It's fucking hot, man. Jerky tame the West? Yeah, bro, like cowboys, bro. Like, literal cowboys, like, tame the fucking West. Bro, Manifest Destiny was enabled by beef jerky. You want to talk about how beef jerky isn't healthy? The fuck out of here.